All right, so we created our file and before we go on, make sure you have your layers panel open. Panels are located at the bottom left of the screen. And when you open a new document or create one, your assets panel is open by default. For now, we want to work with layers panel. So it's located here in the middle, just click and then it's open. As you can see, we have a list of our artboards here and we can see their names. At the top, we have a search feature, which it also has some filters as you can see. And these filters will come in handy, especially when you are working on big projects and then things will get complicated. So I'm going to zoom in here and then I'm going to select this artboard by clicking on the name and as you can see this artboard is highlighted in my layers panel on the right hand side we have the properties inspector and since we selected this artboard we can see the properties of this particular artboard artboards are our design surface so everything happens on the artboards of course, the first step of designing is creating artboards. So let's create one here. And in order to do so, we are going to use the artboard tool. It's located over there. And the shortcut to access it is the letter A. I'm going to activate it. Then as you can see on our properties inspector, all of these presets that we saw before are here. We have some presets for mobile design, then tablet design, web or desktop, social media, and smartwatches. These UI kits that we downloaded moments ago have iPhone X preset for their design. So I'm going to select it from here. Just click here. And then another artboard is created next to the artboard that we had. Now the new artboard is selected, but also our artboard tool is activated. So we have the properties of that artboard here, but if we scroll down, we can see the list of artboards that we can create here. Let's say we did the design for the mobile version and now we want to create the tablet version in order to do so with artboard tool being active we just come down here then we have this guy ipad or nexus 9 i'm going to create a new artboard with that preset next to the artboards that i have xt is a smart so it saves my last decision in its memory and each time i want to create an artboard instead of coming down here each time and clicking on iPad every time having the artboard tool activated I just click on the canvas and then a new artboard is created for me based on my last decision we also can go with the web design here an Instagram post and then an Apple watch so we can design for different devices in just one document if we want to design for a specific device, we can just click and drag in order to create our custom artboard. Right now, we don't need these guys that we created. So I'm going to activate the select tool by pressing V and then click and drag in order to select all of these artboards that I've created. And then I'm going to delete them with the delete button. I kept this one because I want to do some designs on it. As you can see on our layers panel, all the other artboards have a name except from this one that we created right now and it's highlighted over there. Naming artboards is one of the things that we don't have to do but it's better to be done because when your design process go on and then you have all of these artboards here, the, the design will get crowded and you can't find what you're looking for. But when you name them, we can just 
search for them here on your layers panel and you can find them within seconds. So we can name our artboards in two ways. The first one is within the canvas. I'm going to double click on the name and then we can rename it. Rename from canvas. And the other way for doing this operation is from our layers panel. Actually, we can do it with every other element. We just double click on the name and then we can rename it from here. So that's the way to create a new artboard and name it in Adobe XD. All right, so we have created our first artboard and it was pretty easy working with the artboard tool. As you saw, we can select between different presets that XD provides us based on our project. Even if we want to design for a specific device or platform, we can use custom size feature from the artboard tool. In the next tutorials, we are going to talk about the properties that we have for our artboards. Starting with setting the background color for our artboard in appearance properties. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to catch up with the course.